anywhere. The ongoing saga that is the investigation into the death of David Josiah Lawson continues this week after a judge threw out a judgment that would have seen an early suspect in the case win hundreds of thousands of dollars. Kyle Zollner sued former Arcata detective Eric Losey for vindictive prosecution, and the jury in that case ultimately awarded him more than $775,000 in total damages. The judgment, though, was dependent on the judge finding that there was no probable cause to arrest Zollner in the first place. This week, the judge found that indeed there was probable cause. Now it appears Zollner will receive nothing. Ryan Hudson has the story. This week, a San Francisco judge overturned a civil jury's nearly $800,000 award to Kyle Zollner in his lawsuit against a former Arcata police officer alleging that he was a victim of malicious prosecution in regard to his 2017 arrest for the stabbing death of HSU student David Josiah Lawson in Arcata. The trial for Zollner's civil lawsuit ended with the judge ruling in favor of the defendant, writing, the court concludes that Mr. Zollner has not proved the lack of probable cause element of his malicious prosecution claim. Observing the trial proceedings was Charmaine Lawson, mother of Josiah Lawson, whose death Zollner was charged with originally, but then released from custody when a local judge determined there was not enough evidence to hold him for the crime. Awaiting the trial outcome, Charmaine Lawson explained the situation from inside the courthouse. So, again, I am about to come face to face with the individual that was arrested and accused of murdering my son, David Josiah Lawson. My son was a humble state university student studying criminology when his life was viciously taken. And the DNA on the evidence is of Kyle Christopher Zoner. However, Christopher, Kyle Christopher Zoner is suing the city of Arcata for wrongful arrest. Following the jury's verdict, awarding Kyle Zollner over $750,000, the bulk of which would have been paid by the city of Arcata, Charmaine Lawson remained focused on the probable cause element, feeling that the jury was sending a message to law enforcement to do better. The jurors were sending a message to police officers, but this was the wrong case to send the message. When the suspect was obviously the right person that was, um, that was arrested. Just a few days later, finding that there was probable cause for the arrest of Zollner in Lawson's death in 2017, the judge ruled for the defendant, former Arcata police officer Eric Losey. Even though Kyle Zollner had convinced the jury that elements of malicious prosecution had occurred and was awarded nearly $800,000 by the jury's verdict, Judge Corley denied Zollner the win and in so doing canceled the monetary award issued by the jury. In regard to the probable cause for Zollner's arrest for Lawson's stabbing, Judge Corley wrote, quote, a reasonable officer could believe there was fair probability Mr. Zollner stabbed Mr. Lawson, unquote. Speaking to Charmaine Lawson by phone, she reacted to the judge's order expressing relief that the San Francisco judge seemed to see what she sees in the evidence related to her son's tragic death in Arcata. Right now, I am overjoyed and absolutely relieved because the judge got it right. There were absolute, absolute probable cause to arrest Kyle Zoner for the murder of my son. His bloody clothes, the knife found close to the scene. Now, Zoner has about 60 days to appeal the judge's ruling in favor of Arcata police officer Eric Losey as other components of Zollner's complaints against the city of Arcata and its various staff are still being sorted out, the trial as to malicious prosecution has concluded in favor of the defendant, Eric Losey, despite the jury's findings in favor of Zollner. I'm never going to give up until justice is served for my son. I'm not going away. I know that Kyle Christopher Zollner, based on the evidence, is responsible for the murder of my son. And I will never give up until his murderer is brought to 
justice. I'm not going away. I, I thank the judge for seeing the facts very clearly. Um, again, the evidence was overwhelming to say the least. It was, you, it was enough. You don't need an eyewitness with evidence that was presented. DNA, bloody clothes, and a motive. The, why do you need an eyewitness? So that would be my question to Maggie Fleming. The Arcadia Police Department is still asking witnesses to come forward. For Headline Humboldt, this is Ryan Hudson. That's it for this evening. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Stay tuned, stay informed. Thank you.